go to a place on your timeline where you want this digital glitch to appear, then take and leave an adjustment clip over it. Go 5 frames forward and delete the remainings of the adjustment clip. Then look for digital glitch in the library and add it over that adjustment clip. And there we have it. I am dragging and dropping film grain over the footage, which I downloaded from Pexels. Go to Inspector, on Compulsive Mode select Screen. Then on the upside increase the values of zoom of your liking. And then under Compulsive Mode reduce the values of opacity of your liking as well. In the effects library look for solid color, then add it over your footage. Select it and then go to the inspector, pick a color of your liking, I'm picking red. Then select OK and you can go to the corping section. You can increase the values of corp top until you get this line under. Then Alt and drag to copy another one. Highlight the second one, go to the inspector and change the color to similar of the first one. I'm picking orange. Then go to the end of the second color, create a keyframe corp right with the values of 0. Then go at the beginning of the same color and increase the values of corporate until it fills the screen. And now when I play it you can see that we're having some minimalistic loading bar. I am leaving plain PNG over the map, which is with transparent background. You can find it from Google while tapping plain PNG. While it is highlighted you can go to the inspector and increase the zoom values to adjust the size of it. Also you can use this transform icon on the bottom left of the screen. By pulling the corners you can reduce the sizes as well, also you can rotate the angle of it by moving the inner parts. Locate it on the part on the map where you want this travel to begin. You can also match the length of the plane in the map, then highlight the plane, go in the beginning and create the keyframes. You can select the top diamond and then go to the last frame of the plane. And while the transfer node is still highlighted, you can move it with your mouse on the places which you want the travel to end. And now when I go in the beginning of the timeline, you can see that the plane is going from point A to point B just by using two keyframes. You can also add a line that is gonna follow the plane. For that, just add a solid color, change the color to red, then go to the settings and corp it from the top side until you have a thin line. Then you can increase the length of this solid color until it matches the rest. Then you can select again this transform node and you can drag it and reposition it on the places where you want. Then go to inspector and corp it from the right until it disappear. And then select the diamond next to corp right to create the first keyframe. This must happen in the beginning of the timeline. And now go to the end of the timeline and increase the values of corp right until you see all of the line appear. And you can correct the angle if it's not exact. And remember that you must have your plane over the solid color. And this is what you're having. To create this effect, you need to copy the footage that you're having. So hold out and drag it over the top. Delete the parts where you don't want to have any delay. When you're done, you can copy the second one into a third one. And then go in the beginning of that. You can go a few frames forward and make the beginning of the second one from there. And then go four frames forward and make the starting position of the third clip from there. Then you can highlight the second clip that you're having. Go to the inspector and on the opacity reduce it to about 30. And then highlight the third one, go to opacity again and reduce it but this time until 15. To create the base effect you need to have the adjustment clip but first find a place where you want to start. Then leave the adjustment clip over it, reduce it to about 5 or 6 frames. Then look for directional blur from the library, leave it over that adjustment clip, highlight it, go to the inspector, open the effects so you can work on the blur. And while you're at the beginning of the adjustment clip, reduce the values of the blur, then create a keyframe, go a few frames forward, then increase the values of the blur, and then go a few frames forward more, and reduce the values of the blur again. To make the next effect, you just need to drag and drop the matrix symbols, go to inspector, while still highlighted on composite mode, select the screen, and then if needed, reduce the opacity of your liking. To create the most basic split screen, you just need to have two footages. I'm leaving one over the others. Go into the inspector and I'm repositioning it to the left side by reducing the position X. While still highlighted, I'm copying it from the right to make it fit. Low 
of clouds will be rolling in later tomorrow afternoon. Here is some basic way that you can create this underwater effect. Double click on the equalizer, pull the fifth band until 1000, as well as band number 2 until 1000. And just by doing that, it will give you that muffle effect. Low coastal clouds will be rolling in later tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow night slows in the 50s, cool and breezy through Wednesday with a chance of rain. If you want to see some more adventures of effects, make sure to watch this video right here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.